Hello everyone, welcome back. So yesterday we found this 1979 uh, GK55. Uh, it's not a Les Paul. I just did some digging and some research. So this GK55 that we had found yesterday Again, let's just take another look at this case. This, it's amazing. This case is in that great of shape with no no kind of scarring chips or nothing on it. Just that little bit of peeling up there on the end. But yeah, so I did some research on this. And <clears throat> so I know a lot more about it. Basically, it is like a special body. Uh, solid mahogany, all routed out, just like a special these are not t-tops um, they do have the t-top bobbin covers on them because they were using them up in 1979 but these are the original dirty fingers pickups uh, from gibson so when i pull these out they're going to have two wires going in one to each coil and these are your master volume or your tones and this is your master volume and this is a spin a split so as you spin this depending on what pickup you're in, it will start to take away from one coil and go towards the other. And then at some point in the spin of split, you're either on one side or other, or you're kind of dividing it. Now, if it's in the middle position, I'm not sure how that works yet. I gotta do a little more research, but uh, these TP6s, like as I said in a previous video, I sold one of those for 250 bucks. Uh, just this piece alone so this was meant for like artisans 2550 anniversaries stuff like that so uh really high-end attribute here and with the dirty finger pickups the spin a split that was actually uh done just a year prior um on the 2550 so it's actually a really rare guitar and to have the original uh brown back plates on it and absolutely no cracks in the neck pocket i mean just an amazing guitar so it's it's a mahogany neck mahogany body uh, 1979 gk55 that's the other thing so the g stands for gibson and the k stands for kalamazoo so this was built in the kalamazoo plant uh, before gibson shut down and moved out and thus the direction of the made in a USA stamp between the tuners as well um, shows that it's a Kalamazoo. So we have a really rare bird here. Uh, really high end attributes, uh, rare because of the bolt on neck and the spin a split TP6, dirty fingers in it. And it's just an amazing shape and I still haven't even cleaned it yet. So. Um, I don't know if I want to cut the strings off of it or not. These are brand new strings that are on it, but usually I pull all the strings completely off and I still may. We'll see what happens when we start loosening them here. I want to be able to clean the fretboard and yeah, they're coming off pretty easy. If I have to replace them, I will. Normally I always always put brand new strings on so go ahead and get these off because i want to take a look at these pickups the pickup cavity i did notice though when i was doing my research on it uh i was talking to a buddy and i said the only thing i i don't think that's original on it are the caps in it um i was looking at a video and it had some little spurge discs in it and luckily, I have some new old stock Spurge discs that I could put in there. So we have these right here, vintage old stock Spurge discs. Let me just go ahead and take one of these out. So I may I'm do some more research and I'm gonna make sure that it is indeed what we're supposed to be in there, but if it was, I have two uh, new old stock that are from the 70s, so 
they claim that they're 1960s, but they look like a lot of the 70s that I see. So either way, it's period correct if that's indeed what they had in there because the video that I seen on it, they could have had their caps changed in it too because it was missing some of its original parts. So that's another thing that makes uh, this pretty rare is it so far it has all the original parts, original nut, original tuners, original pickups, bridge, tailpiece, knobs, I guess. I'd have to look. They look pretty old. It's got the truss rod cover. And it is not a Les Paul, even though it looks like one. Because uh, it doesn't have the Les Paul logo in the um, headstock. So, I mean, I don't know what they would call it other than the GK55. But, yeah, it is definitely Les Paul special slash junior body uh definitely has the big giant les paul 70s headstock but they got this one wound up a million times on this so yeah this was a really cool find um like i said there's no big chips or gouges out of the sides of it or edges no buckle worming on it. It's just got some very light and moderate scuffs and scratches on it, which is to be expected. I mean, it's 1979, so. Yeah, we're just gonna put new strings on it. There's no point in trying to save these. But I didn't want this TP6 to fall apart. And there goes the sump pump. A lot quieter now though. Yeah. Alright. So it is indeed the original TP6. Let's see if we can get it to focus in here. Yep, Gibson. Made in the USA. So we do indeed have the original TP6. Take a look at this bridge. Should say Germany on it. And it does, made in Germany. So that's original bridge. So it's looking really good. Um, as far as uh, going uh, for original parts here. Now here's the big question. Are these really the dirty fingers? Because that's what this should have had in there with the spin and split. Should have a double wired pickups here. Let's see what the first one shows us. Yeah, so these are ceramic pickups. Yeah, and indeed, it is original pickup, but boy, they got those leads pulled tight. Hmm. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got double lead wires going into the pickup. They've got those pickup wires pulled so tight. I bet you Sam Ash did that because remember I told you when I went to pick it up they had all the wires and stuff hanging out of it. So whatever they did or maybe it was a previous person to them if they were in there dicking around because I said I think that the uh, caps have been changed. But all of its major parts, uh, three-way switch, and the pickups, and the tailpiece, the bridge, all the pots, tuners, strap locks, back plates, neck plate, I mean, all the major, most important pieces of it are at least all original. 
Wow. All right, so that indeed is original too. And there's, you can see better, the uh, double wires that I was talking about going in, one to each coil. So we got a wire going to this coil and a wire going to that coil. And then as you spin this, it goes back and forth. It blends in between the two or you go to one side or the other. So that's pretty nifty. I just wonder why these are so tight. Yeah, there's a lot of wire packed down in there. All right, well, at least we know we have uh, the original pickups. Let's go ahead and just put them back in. It's pretty tight in here. There we go. Come on. Of course. Wants to be a pain in the ass. I wish they would have left some lead on them. There's no room to move with the wire so short. There we go. I don't know why it won't go down any farther than that on this side. I mean, that's super annoying. It's got to be hung up on them stupid short ass wires. Look at this. This is enough to really piss you off. Let me see here. Let me set this thing down. So as the wires go down into this little hole that I didn't get drilled in my other guitar for its third pickup, this must pinch the wires on the wood because it will not allow it to go down. Wow, that is ridiculous. That's enough to really piss you off. This is why Sam Ash and Guitar Center shouldn't touch a guitar. I highly doubt that Lays would leave you stinking with uh, the wires this friggin' tight. I mean, that's ridiculous. Whoever did this needs kicked in the teeth. I hate ignorance. Yeah, and then they, the wire that needs to be the longest that goes to the top lead is the shortest. Wow. There, I got it in. Talk about painting a neck no shit look at that the ear on that pickup is so bent I'll go ahead and loosen that up and straighten it out a pair of pliers huh Yeah, 
This looks like it was a victim of being pushed in too hard. And it just bent this little ear up where the uh, adjustment screw goes, no big deal. Now I'm gonna have to adjust the pickup again, but yeah, it goes in there a lot nicer now. All right, well, we'll adjust that when we get new strings back on it. Go ahead and put these screws back in. So those are uh, dirty fingers. What are you guys talking about? Just cheap talk? That's what I'm doing too. Just cheap talk. So as soon as I get this screwed down, we'll flip it over and take a look at the cavity. But yeah, that's a pretty slick. Uh, Kalamazoo made Gibson. Funky weird bolt on neck. Spin a split. Master volume. Dirty fingers pickups. TP6. Big 70s headstock. Grover Tulip Tuners. I think it's a pretty cool guitar. <laughs> I was telling my wife I might have to keep this in the collection. But, and again, I said that about a lot of guitars. I had quite a few. Man, did I have, I've lost track of how many guitars I've had and how many I regret selling. All right. So this has the SG style three-way switch in it because uh, the body is not as thick as a carved top. Again, this is like a special or a junior. there. stuck down there and they just had it off. Strange. Mm. Yeah, see they, when I seen it, it did not have all that blue wiring in it. And I do see that they changed the cap again. So I was correct when I seen it. I have to Wish I could just show you guys a picture real quick, but it had a real tiny little green cap on it. Uh, now it has a disc in there. So it does look like it's all original again, but of course, you know, all this shrink wrap stuff is not. But it does have uh, all the, the codes. I checked the dates on the pots and they're all correct, but check out that big one right here. That's that's the spin a split. It's a, uh, it's a stacked pot. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me get uh, some light on the subject here. There we go. So now you can see it's a spin a split is a stacked pot and they did put a disc back in it for the cap. I'm not sure why I don't have two. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. The one I seen had two in it. So I'll have to do some more research, but 
nonetheless it's uh pretty close to bone stock you can see the uh, sg style uh three-way switch in there that's still original so yeah I'm, I'm real happy with it so i guess while i got it apart i might as well polish it up and i'll save you guys the uh the pain of that if uh yeah, because we're already at 20 minutes in, so I'm just going to do a different video of polishing this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you guys have any comments or need to tell me anything you know about this, uh, please do so. And uh, thank you for watching.